Now any smart home will have a lot of smart devices and smart devices generally work on three different protocols. They can be Wi-Fi, uh, Zigbee or Z-Wave. Now for these different devices and different protocols to work with each other together in an automation, you need a bridge. The bridge helps one device talk to another device if they are on two different protocols. Now if we talk about this room, I've got this motion sensor over here. This is on a Z-Wave protocol. There is another device inside this plug, which is also on a Z-Wave protocol. But then there are these three down lights, which are Zigbee, these are Philips Hue. So when I move inside this room, this particular sensor detects my motion, sends a signal to the switch over here, which in turn lights up these bulbs. To get this automation up and running, I need a hub. The hub that I use, let's unbox this. That is called Habitat Elevation. Okay, so to set up my home automation server, this is the Habitat Elevation hub that I have purchased. Now, in this box, mein what we get is actually some wires and the Habitat Elevation hub itself. It's a very small hub. You will get connected directly via Ethernet port and a power cable. It will get directly connected to the router or the wireless system of your home. And it comes with so pretty much a charger, a cable for the charger, a data cable, and of course the Habit server. So connect karte and then we'll see how this all starts and how we can automate the lights with this. And this I have set kar diya. Now this is a mess over here. My entire cabinet with so many hubs and and my NVR and my Synology server, hard drives, everything connected over here. But anyways, I have connected my habitat. Isko kuch nahi kiya. Maine iske uh, data cable ko switch pe connect kar diya hai and uh, isko wire de diya hai wahan se power de diya hai that's it now this is started aur iski light blue hai aur i think iski light blue hi rehni chahiye i think when it started it was green now it is blue aur ab isko hum uh, computer pe jaake dekhte hain on, on computer i can go to find.habitat.com i guess and then we can see how to set up this uh, home automation server. Okay, just to add to that, when uh, I connect it, I just check the documentation. It's written over here. The LED on the hub will turn blue and then green. So yes, when I connected, it was blue, and now it has turned to this green light. So that means Habitat has been set up, and now I can go to the browser and connect to this Habitat device. Okay, so now we go to find.habitat.com and over here I click on discover and I was able to find my hub right over here. I click on that and now let's get started. I agree the terms and conditions. I'm also doing it for the very first time. Let's see what to do. Okay, it gives me a quick tutorial. All right, and uh, we have got a documentation link as well which will be helpful to know various things about the hub which is nice okay i'll click on next all right it does say that if your devices are not discovered or it take too long for the habitat elevation to discover your devices chances are that you need to reset your devices first now my majority devices are on zigbee right now as of now many zigbee devices have a unique reset process Please follow the instructions. Okay, so majority of my lights right now are Hue, uh, Philips Hue, which are on the Zigbee protocol. So I think I will have to reset those, those devices before I can add them to Habitat. So it says you need to put in the location of the hub. I'll just put in home Melbourne and a postcode. I'll put in the postcode of Melbourne. Save and exit. All right, so here we are on the home page of the hub. From here, I, I can put in different devices. I can install different devices. I can install different applications. And 
we'll go through those in some other video so in this video this is how we can actually start the hub right now there is nothing defined no rooms defined eventually i'm going to set it up everything based on my home over here